Stacy Swope. Lace, this is one of those times you might go from turning the heat on right. to switching over to AC no by kidding. the end of the week. It's definitely <laughs> that type of week, for sure, where you're going to need the heater in the morning, in the afternoon, 70s and 80s, or maybe you can just open up the windows and let the fresh air in. It's definitely going to be on the warmer side. Today, sunny skies, temperatures in the 30s. This afternoon, 60s as the kiddos are coming home from school. It is going to be fantastic later today. It's definitely on the cold side this morning. Just to put the difference of the two weeks into perspective, last week, 19 degrees was our high. In the afternoon, we had wind chills, minus 10, and heavy sleet, that sleet storm ongoing. Roads were a mess. This Wednesday, 76 degrees. Makes you start thinking about spring fever. We'll put the tulips on the map there. It won't be long. In fact, when is our final freeze in Oklahoma City? Well, it differs, of course, every year, but on average, it's about April 1st, which is just about a month away after we get through March. That's when we say, hey, it's usually safe to go ahead and plant and get prepared for the gorgeous colors of spring. We still have freezing temperatures on the nine day forecast. And in fact, even some light wintry precip, not out of the question. I'll talk about wind coming up right now. We're kicking off the new work week. Quiet conditions, high pressure, skies are clear. It's 28. South winds are at eight miles per hour. So coat weather for the kiddos this morning. 42 in Fairview right now. It's 40 in Cheyenne, but 19 in Sealing, where we have low-lying areas and calm winds. The temperatures are definitely colder. Southeastern Oklahoma, very chilly as well, with winds 5 to 15. Wind chills are in the teens and 20s. There's even single-digit wind chills currently in our panhandle. So we're talking about these warming conditions. Our mornings are still going to be on the cold side. This afternoon, mid-upper 60s, warmest day we've had since early last week week and we're getting warmer from here. Today's the coolest of the work week actually. As we head through the next several days, look at the Arctic air. It's all the purples on this map. Yeah, up where it needs to stay, right? Up near into the New England states, into Canada. For us, a ridge of high pressure, 70s, 80s. We'll have a lot of wind by the time we get to Friday. That's when we'll say our fire threat starts to go up. Fire threat will also be on the elevated side into your Saturday. It'll be breezy. Cold front arrives Saturday. Now with this storm system, we'll call it storm number one, we do get enough energy. We may have a few isolated thunderstorms to develop. We'll watch for that. It's going to bring some pretty heavy winter precip to the states to our north and then right on its heels. The next wave. If this were going to if this were not going to come following the second one, this would be a big time severe weather maker for Oklahoma. But the way it looks that cold front Saturday really shoves that Gulf moisture out of here. So while we'll have a chance for rain, the rain looks good. The severe threat is very limited Sunday. We'll keep you updated on that. I do think this brings snow to Kansas, uh, portions of Nebraska, Colorado, maybe our panhandle Sunday into Monday, but the rain with it looks amazing. As we head into your Sunday, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, this is still several days away, but we could pick up close to a half of an inch in central Oklahoma with some bullseyes down to the south, getting anywhere from one to maybe even an inch and a half of rain. Tonight, we're down into the 30s, but above freezing, coming up for much of Oklahoma, south winds and some cloud cover, and look at your highs tomorrow. Our average high is 57. We'll see mid, even upper 70s into the day tomorrow. Same thing for your Wednesday. We may even squeak out a few 80s in the far northwest and southwest. And again, south breeze on Wednesday, 5 to 15. It seems like when we get to spring and we start talking about the, the winds, that's when the winds become out of control. So even though we get these mild days. It's so breezy. You can't enjoy it too much. That's why these next three or four days are going to be absolutely gorgeous. We do have that chance for a few thunderstorms coming up on Friday. It's a 20% chance. Still mild on Saturday, but breezy. And then Sunday, cold front, cooler rain and storm chances. And we're pretty chilly by Monday with a chance for a light wintry mix. That's your nine day forecast. Stick with us. We're back after this.